Splice recently made some big changes, and we've got to talk about it. The cloud-based sample library and music-making platform has been a long-standing fan favorite amongst beatmakers and producers. However, a few of these recent changes have left some users a bit frustrated. What's going on, my friends? Patrick here. Personally, I've been a happy Splice subscriber since May of 2018. I've talked about and demoed the platform a number of times on this channel, but with the new Splice features and these new subscription plans, my monthly Splice subscription has more than doubled. Time will tell if these features prove to be worth the extra cash. Splice now offers three plans. The entry level Sounds Plus plan is the plan that's going to be most reminiscent of the Splice that we previously knew and loved. The Sounds Plus plan is $9.99 a month, and that gives you access to 100 monthly sounds credits, which you can use, of course, to download samples and presets and MIDI parts. Your subscription, of course, also grants you access to the Rent to Own feature, which allows you to pay a small monthly fee for a particular plugin or bundle, and then you pay that monthly fee until the plugin is paid off, and then it's yours forever. You do also get access to the Splice Bridge plugin, which I'm gonna show you a little bit more about that in a second here, but essentially the Splice Bridge plugin allows you to connect your DAW to the Splice desktop app and kind of try before you buy different samples within the context of the project that you're working on. Now, the creator plan seems like the plan that's going to make the most sense for most people going forward. $19.99 a month will get you access to 200 monthly sounds credits. You will also have access to the new Beatmaker plugin, as well as the new Astra synthesizer and their exclusive presets. The creator plan will also get you access to skills, which offers lessons, tutorials, and educational videos covering a variety of music production topics. Plus, you obviously get everything that comes in the Sounds Plus plan. The Creator Plus plan gets you everything that we've talked about so far, but you get 500 total monthly sound credits, and all of that is for the price of $29.99. If you were previously subscribed to Splice, good news, you will not be forced to upgrade to one of these new plans if you don't want to. However, I did reach out to Splice just to confirm that existing users would be able to keep their current plans, and this is the response I received. So there's really no answer on whether or not you'll be able to keep your old plan forever. Now, if we take a look at the previous plans, your money will obviously no longer get you the same amount of monthly sounds credits that it used to. I guess with the new features and the new plugins, you're no longer just paying for your sounds credits. Personally, I'm still getting to know the new Splice, and I'm still not really sure how to feel about it, but definitely let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Let's dive into some of the new plugins and features that Splice is offering. The Bridge plugin connects to the Splice desktop app, allowing you to play Splice samples along with your project. You simply load the Bridge plugin onto an empty track, then open your Splice desktop app and start browsing through your samples. Your samples will automatically be time stretched to fit the beats per minute of your session, so you'll be able to hear those samples in the context of the project that you're working on. You can also manually transpose your samples to fit the key of your track. So I've got this keys part here that I really like, and I can go into Splice and find the perfect drum beat to go along with these keys. That one sounds good to me, so I'm going to copy that, load that into my session. And you can see when I pasted the sample into my session, it was already time stretched and modified. So Bridge is sort of a try before you buy feature, and I really dig that. I have definitely burned plenty of credits in the past on samples that I thought would fit my project, but ultimately didn't work when they were time stretched or pitch shifted. So this Bridge plugin is definitely a welcomed addition. 
Hey, real quick, if you are enjoying today's video, please do hit that like button for me. And if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Anyway, let's get back to the video. The Beatmaker plugin is a pretty standard drum machine. It comes preloaded with a bunch of different factory preset kits. And of course, you can add any splice sample and make your own kits. There's also this 32 step sequencer. Definitely lots of variety, but nothing too crazy. You can also download presets for Beatmaker, and I think this is where things could start to get interesting. So far, it seems like most of the presets for the new plugins are down here in this Splice Original section. It says every Tuesday we release exclusive Splice produced sample packs from recording sessions with acclaimed musicians. Pretty cool. Definitely excited for the future of this section. Let's just take a look at this antidote, the first one that came up. If we go down here to presets, you can see there's some Astra presets and there's also some Beatmaker presets. I kind of like that one. So we'll download this. Five credits, by the way, for a Beatmaker preset where the Astra presets are three credits. So let's see if it automatically gets added to Beatmaker. It does, there's what we just downloaded. So we just downloaded this Antidote kit. You can see all of our samples are here on our pads. We've got another sequencer, of course. Kinda cool. Definitely not the right vibe for this track, but I definitely dig these Splice Originals sample packs and the new presets that they're dropping. And like your typical sample packs, the Splice Original sample packs have all of these samples that you can check out. And then of course you also have these different presets that you can use as well. Now the Astro Synth is pretty dope. Maybe it's just cause I'm a synthesizer guy, but Check this out. Now, this virtual synth will be pretty straightforward if you're familiar with V synths like Serum or Pigments. You have two oscillators, each with five different synthesis options, analog, FM, granular, sampler, and wavetable. You have a sub oscillator, your noise. Down here, you have a filter with multiple different modes, two envelope generators, two LFOs, a macro sequencer, note sequencer, modulation matrix. Over here, you have a ton of different built-in effects that you can choose from. Yeah, this is a pretty complete and well-rounded synthesizer. The factory presets were pretty standard, but where I really started to get excited about Astra was again, with the Splice Originals presets. Honestly, this Lo-Fi Essentials for Astra Pack is the reason that I upgraded to the creator plan. I was just browsing through Splice, listening to a bunch of these samples, loved the sounds, went over to the presets and gave a bunch of them a listen. I mean, you could see over here on the right how many of these I downloaded from this pack alone. And actually, this keys part that I've been using throughout the course of this demo is from the Lo-Fi Essentials pack as well. So super cool. I'm definitely more of a presets guy than somebody who designs my synth sounds from scratch. I'm originally a guitar player, so a lot of this synthesizer stuff I'm still learning. I love to use presets to kind of get into the ballpark of the sound that I'm looking for, and then I can add my own effects or tweak parameters to kind of really fine tune the sound that I'm looking for. So needless to say, I'm a big fan of Astra and all of the new presets that Splice is putting out, but let me give you a quick little listen to a few of my favorites so far.
materials is the last new feature that we need to talk about. In here, you will find everything from beginner tutorials like how to get started with Splice to some more advanced techniques and topics. And these lessons aren't exclusively related to Splice and the new plugins. You can see there's some different music theory lessons. You can learn more about different mixing techniques. And I also really like that they have kind of DAW specific lessons. So this lesson from John Smythe is creating a full soul sample from start to finish. You go into this lesson, you've got six different videos that walk you through the whole process. And this lesson is specific to Logic Pro, which is good for me because that's the DAW that I use. But if you're an Ableton Live user, there are plenty of lessons for you as well. There's a lot of really great lessons in here the more that you kind of look around. To be honest with you, this is the new feature that I was probably least excited about, but I'm definitely gonna roll my sleeves up and get into some of these lessons. Never hurts to learn something new, am I right? The experts who are teaching the lessons, also pretty cool. You've got two assistant professors from Berkeley School of Music. You've also got the director of popular music at ASU. You've also got a few different Splice staff members who have their own resumes. And of course, as time goes on, I'm sure Splice will be adding new instructors, new lessons to the skills section of Splice. So that's gonna wrap up today's video, my friends. Let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about the new Splice and about these new features. Are you excited about the new features? Are you looking forward to maybe upgrading your plan? Or do you feel like Splice just kind of gave you a bunch of stuff that you didn't ask for? Let me know in the comments below. I leave you with this little beat that I made using the new Splice features and the new plugins. So I hope you enjoy. But listen, my friends, until next time, my name's Patrick. I'll catch you real soon, all right? Peace. Thank you.